Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm Xingling, uh, Xu Xingling. I'm the product owner for visual scripting at Alplan, a product management team. I was an architect before I joined Alplan. So today I would like to share something about our Python part solution, uh, uh, how we how we do that, use that in practice. Yeah. So this presentation work uh, consists of two parts. The first part was about some uh, simple introduction about why we why we are we doing what we are doing currently, and the second part is about uh, some showcase, uh, some examples in practice from our partner and from some of our customers. So. Before talking about the solution, we generally need to understand the problem we want to solve first. So as we know, in the AEC industry, there are uh, ten of, tons of different special workflows, objects, and they are everywhere that every project and company has its own weight on how they would like to deal with their project. As even if the large company has the developers to solve the problem with their uh, with our so, uh, software solutions, we will also need a solid API. So we always need a sol solid API to start with. But only for a few uh, developer have both uh, domain uh, domain knowledge and uh, I mean the domain knowledge in AEC industry and the group programming skills. Uh, most architects and the engineers don't really know how to code as a professional. So on the other hand. Uh, some tasks, some simple tasks that don't worth uh, the time or the effort to have a developers as it will create a huge overhead to just display, explain the problem. So if the architects and the engineers can have a tool to deal with it by themselves, that will be much, much better because they know the pain point, uh, pain point in our current uh, process. So for us as a software solution provider, it's also almost impossible to create all kinds of features and solutions to cover all special requirements as almost impossible. So we come up with the Python part as a solution for our customers uh, to address these kind of stuff. So that's the background, that's the problem we want to address. So let's now talk about what's actually is the Python part or our plan Python part as a framework in our plan that helps the customer to uh, help the developer to create custom function so that the customer or end user can automate a repetitive task or solve complicated complex problem uh, problem in AC industry more efficiently. It has three major components. Uh, one is the script, second is API, the third is object. The object isn't always necessary here. So if the customer just want to automate some process, they are really, uh, uh, they, they normally don't need that product object as a, or let's say top problem object. So their relationship is somehow showing the diagram here. So we have the Python path script, which can leverage the API and that will then interact with the Alplan model or Alplan itself, depends. So in order to tailor the solution for different customers, we categorize the target user group based on their somehow the programming knowledge we have. Uh, there are three types of uh, users we have, or let's say we categorize them as uh, into. So the one as our end users, power users, and the developers. And for each of them, we try to provide a separate uh, subset of the two sub uh, solution from Python part for them to deal with the problem we mentioned before. So uh, for the first about the, let's talk about the end users. So normally we know uh, say as, as end users, they you uh, say know the AEC industry, but they normally don't have the programming knowledge as the power and developer one, a developer. So for them, we provide that this Python path script, which works as a normal function in plan to automate the task or create a parameter object. Such scripts can be created by other two types of users. And for them, uh, they don't need to know uh, how the coding works, how the visual scripting or how, how the visual programming works. They just take the result as it, uh, uh, the scripts uh, created by other users and can easily, uh, they can, and then they have, will have uh, and very much easy access to the parametric or uh, automated function. So the second type of the use are the power users. They also know about the AC industry and had some kind of programming knowledge, not that really uh, profound or solid. They also know 
the most important thing is you also know where the pain point is a project or the process you are facing. So they could use a visual scripting to generate a Python part script for themselves uh, or for the end users, depend if they use them by themselves, if they don't want to, uh, if they as have a large uh, design or construction companies, if they have a, only a few people who can create this kind of script, they can distribute it to the whole company so the other normal uh, end user can also use, uh, leverage leverage the Python API. So compared to the coded Python part, which we will talk later, it is much easier to get started. And it is a, it's also apt for simple custom functions, but it can uh, also handle uh, complex tasks. Yeah. So the last type of the user are developers. So we all know developers, they, are, uh, they have solid programming knowledge, but depending on their background, they are not necessarily familiar with AEC industry. So uh, yeah, for some of them need to work with architects or engineer closely to understand the real problems they are facing. So of course there are some developers who really uh, know the industry, but I, I think there's only a few of them in the whole industry. So for some the Python API uh, is the go-to interface in our plan. Uh, they can create a coded Python part. Uh, a Python part script for end user to achieve very sophisticated tasks. Uh, compared to the visual scripting, uh, this solution is more versatile. Yeah. So that's the, that's the thing is enough for the more general introduction and we try to address all the users, uh, including normal uh, power and developers. Yeah. So I will next now uh, I will show you three uh, three interesting showcase and the problem we want to address with the pro with the uh, examples. So the first one is uh, let's consider if we could. Uh, so the first we want to tackle the buildability of the uh, buildability issue in the early planning phase. So we all know if we could consider that issue. Early in the planning phase, it will be more efficient than to do that in later phase uh, in terms of cost, in terms of time to fix the problem. So, but one problem of the most uh, native object or Java we have in the program is that we won't provide any feedback. So the architect, uh, the architect or the engineer has to check some objects against the guideline or regulation. And it's, it's really time consuming, error prone, and uh, quite boring. So for most of us, are quite boring. So in this example, we use visual scripting to create a parametric object. And this parametric object can inform the customer or inform the end user about its states. So for example, it is, if it is uh, com uh, complying to the uh, code or rules or regulations. Like that. That's the small video. So we see we have, uh, is actually um, say a bridge, uh, a railway bridge. As we can see, it's, it's, it's compliant with the uh, uh, rules. And then if we now relocate it to base on uh, another, another pair of access of rail and the roads and after confer, uh, the, the object, the geometry will be then regenerated. And we can see uh, that also the color will be changed. If we now check the uh, attribute again, it will tell us it's now do not comply with the guidelines. So this script can uh, is created for a customer in German as a prototype. Uh, this, uh, yeah, this geometry, this parametric object is created also with the visual scripting. So, uh, but to use that, the, the uh, you don't need to know or uh, understand how visual scripting works. You just need to. Uh, Added the object as as it as as it as if it is a normal object in our plan. So that's a simple example by uh, leveraging the Python API with visual scripting. So the next one is about the automated reinforcement. So imagine you have to create all reinforcements for a large project. So multi-story. Uh, complex building, something like that, and that it will take ages. So, it, 
So one of our partner created this code, code in the Python part to accelerate, accelerate the whole process. So I also provide a video, short video to that. And this is how it works. It's a customer project. Yeah. So let's see, uh, for example, for this kind of project, although some of the walls are somewhat identical, but it's still very tedious. Uh, if engineer have to do this kind of 3D Riva detailing manually, so we provide this uh, pattern, provide this code. As you can see, it can be accessed via the normal uh, interface. So the user end user will know that's uh, something special here. So after that, I just need to select the words and the other uh, uh, three array bar will be generated uh, in 3D automatically based on the geometry of the words. And if you, uh, the, uh, the user can also uh, can also turn on or off the rebar for holes if in case he thinks uh, the engineer thinks you are planning to do that on site, not off site. So you can do that. And you can uh, uh, this Python part object also provide turn us off the settings option like uh, setting the rebar type, setting the spacer type. Once you are satisfied with this art setting you have, you can just create the object. Uh, yeah. And all the job out rebars will be sent generating 3D. So if we checked in the wireframe way, wireframe view, so we can see all the geometry, all the uh, rebar geometry is generated. And, uh, and you can see the color also indicated different type of uh, rebars we have. Yeah. So that's the second one. The last one is, uh, is the example about to help engineers to convert 2D drawings of 3D geometries from architects to a precast element. So it could follow the, I mean, the object the precast uh, uh, element could follow the standards of, uh, could follow the standard of precast element. So, I mean, it has some rules to it. So it could also done with, it. this is also done with the coded Python path script. So let's. Show that very briefly. Oh, sorry, this uh, this video is in German, but I will try to translate some of the most important information. So it is we call it smart converter. It can analyze the three D geometry of of three uh, D model as well as a two D model. So the first part I will show it, I will try to recognize the 3D model of the stairs and adapt the shape of the stairs and convert it into parametric pre-cut stairs. So engineers can then modify some details like recess and some uh, additional star, uh, uh, elements. You can, all, can also distribute or generate all, all the rebuts parametrically. Then for the quantity takeoff, the attributes are also very crucial. So this will be also up appended out automatically to the stairs. So that's part for the 3D object. So in case in 2D plan, so we all know also we the, the industry, the industry is uh, uh, the, uh, how to evolve very fast and very differently. Uh, still a lot of uh, customer, uh, I say architects and engineers company are still working 2D. So we also provide possibility to help them to generate a precast element with 2D directly from 2D. So it works the same as the 3D object. You just select on the shape of the stairs and you adapt to that and uh, create object automatically. In case the architects or uh, in case the architects change the shape of the stairs, uh, yeah, the engineer can adapt the shape of the precast element automatically, and all the three D rebar and attributes will be also adopted automatically. Yeah, so the end user would would don't need to do uh, let's say would only need to do a lot, a very few manual step to uh to help him to. Uh, to uh, how to say, you only need to do a very few uh, manual steps, manual actions, and 
all the shape and all the, all the parameters will be adapted automatically. Yeah, that's, I think that's concluded my presentation about the Python part. Hope it brings some connection to the industry. So yeah, thank you for attention. Back to you, Abel.